All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of UFC Undisputed Forever. And guess what? I finally fixed my mod. So as you can see, we have the uh, we have the new loading screen. We'll go in through here. Don't mind that. Uh, look at this. Finally got it working correctly. Uh, so if we go into exhibition here, let's just say um, I don't know featherweight. We actually have all the names, right? We have Alex, uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, Yair, Cater, right? And finally got everything just the way I need it. All right. Now, point of today wasn't just to show you that I updated the, um, the mod to where the names actually show correctly. But, we're actually going to do something that I said I was going to do a while ago. And if this works the way that I want it to, um, which I really hope it does, we're actually going to start a career mode with Brian Ortega. And my goal for this career mode... Welcome to UFC. Uh, get out of here, Mike Goldberg. Hmm, actually, hold on. Uh, I want to see something. If I go to... Uh, options... Game options... Tutorial hints... Uh, yeah, pro control... Ah... Uh, Yeah, I might actually have to do the tutorial, unfortunately. Yeah, that's right. One of the casualties, I guess. That's right. We'll have to listen to Mike Goldberg give me the run-through. Alright, so, if we do... I think a new roster crew. Alright, so we the sport of mixed martial arts, the difference between a win or a loss can happen at any moment. A single punch, a single takedown, or even a single mistake is what separates the champions from the contenders. When it's all over, a fighter's legacy is what's left behind. Now it's your turn to rewrite the legacy of a UFC fighter. With their talent in your hands, let's find out if you'll lead them into obscurity or into octagon glory. Welcome to UFC Undisputed 3's career. I, I know, buddy. I know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> they updated the freaking max, like, strength and whatnot. Yeah. So, if you didn't know, if you have this mod downloaded, they actually have it to where you could pretty much have, like, infinite career fighter points. So, that's why you see, like, max strength and speed up to, like, 255. All right, let me see if this actually works the way out. Okay, yeah, it looks like they still keep the character models. Yes. Okay, so my goal for this career mode, since Brian Ortega is known for his submissions, I want to try to win every time by submission. That's my goal. And I'm going to make like a pure like jujitsu fight. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll level up my striking and stuff, too. Um, but the goal is just straight-up submissions. So I'm going to choose Brian Ortega. Now that you've selected your... I know. All right, let me see. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, we'll do jiu-jitsu. Uh, I mean, Brian Ortega switches stances sometimes, so let's do orthodox and switch. We'll make him a righty. Yes. Every great mixed martial artist has to start with the basics. 
There's more to fighting than knowing how to throw a punch or how to shoot for a takedown. You're going to need to put it all together if you want to compete against the best. You need cardio, footwork, an arsenal of attacks, and the ability to defend against every single one of them. Your training <laughs> begins now. For those that watch my my career mode with Bobby Knuckles, you'll probably recognize quite a few of these cutscenes. So every fight starts on the yeah yeah yeah. I gotta do all these tutorials. Um, I'll probably just skip this just for the sake of time because I already spent several minutes in this intro. Um, I'm gonna do this career mode like on advanced difficulty as well, so. I'm just going to skip forward to that part. Okay, so I finished all the training, and just just so no one questions me about this, all right, the last career mode I did was experienced, going to advance. Okay. Everyone can see that I'm choosing advance here. All right, I can't change it once it starts, so here we go. And as always, we do simulation mode for stamina. Debuting in 2001, the World Fighting Alliance featured a Vegas nightclub atmosphere with some of the top talent in all of mixed martial arts. Future champions like Quentin Rampage Jackson, Rich Franklin, and Lyoto Machida all fought in the WFA before making their way to the Octagon. An impressive performance here will earn you a ticket to the big show. Your professional MMA career starts now. Kinda of sucks because I I deleted my um my game data, you know, so I could like actually install this mod. So all the um all the progress that I had previously didn't transfer over, obviously. So Welcome that's the only the downside. Ah, oh, get out of here, Mike Goldberg. I know this the deal. The I know how this works, buddy. This ain't my first rodeo. All right, who's ranked the highest? This guy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name. As you progress, uh, right. always simulate. Ugh. But yeah, so kind of sucks because the first time you do a career mode, or when the game thinks you're doing a career mode for the first time, you have to listen to this Mike Goldberg tutorial. I mean, it's cool the first time you do it, you know. After but chosen an opponent by yeah. training. Uh, I know Mike Goldberg. I know. Anyway. You know what we're gonna do, just submission spar. Oh right, yeah, build up my submission skills and uh yeah. Once we build up the submission skill, we are going to just submit people left and right. I'll get my defense up too. Cause uh I'm not trying to get people with really good takedown defense to just rock me on the feet constantly. Okay, I want to see some go. good offense on the ground. Set up a submission. So happy that the character models actually translated over. Oh, that was beautiful, man. Uh, how dare you? Who say you get guard? Give me this Kimura. Come on. Give me. Give me. Hey, come on. Let me have it. Sounds like I'm talking to like one of my cats when he gets into that something he's not supposed off. to. Uh. Oh god. Uh. There we go. And the reason I wanted to do Brian Ortega is because. You know, with uh, the last career mode that I did with let's Bobby go, Knuckles, I just... Most of my wins were just 
that was knockouts, perfect. you know? And not that there's anything wrong with that, but it just... I feel like I really After neglected... Training session. Get out of here. Oh, I earned trophies again, too. That's kind of cool. Yeah, um... I feel like just focusing on stand-up like I did with Bobby Knuckles, I didn't give a good... In, I didn't do a good showcase of Shut up, Mike Goldberg. I didn't give a good indication of how good and fluid the ground game could be. So that's why I wanted to see if I could do submission only. I mean, for me, my, my first fight of my career, uh, a brand new sport, nothing like wrestling. If I could describe it, it was like jumping out of an airplane without a parachute. You know, it was just adrenaline that I've never felt before. Uh, fear, excitement. Anxiety, I mean, every emotion you can possibly imagine just, just getting thrown at you all at once. With all the adrenaline in my, in my body, I wasn't expected to get beat. After the fight was over, I was on, I was on top of the world, so it was, that's when I knew I was addicted at that point in time. So it's probably one of the most memorable experiences of my fight career was my first fight. I love those career movies. This uh, is the event. I know, Mike Goldberg. I know. This ain't my first rodeo, cowboy. All right. Anyway. If you guys want me to keep the cutscenes, or if you want me to take them out, just let me know down in the comments. I do read the comments. I know I don't reply to all of them, you know. Um, it, I'm glad to see that so many people are enjoying this, you know. Um, I I really thought I was going to be making a lot more content with uh, UFC 5, but I just I don't have the joy to play that game, man. I don't... There's just so many things I would change, you know? And I just come back to something like this, and God, this mod just makes it look so beautiful. Woo! Take down. Oh, I stuffed it. Damn you. I'm cut already. Man. God, like, people went out of their way. Freaking mod a game. It's 12 years old. It's crazy, right? Think I can get it? Hold on. Nah, he's blocking my transitions and stuff. Pepper him up. On armbar. Oh wait, uh, I forgot what color I was for a sec. Oh no, there's no escape. There's no escape. Nope. This is mine, buddy. This is mine. Thumbnail time. Yeah, if you see me, um, if you see me kind of turn my ca my uh, face cam off, it's because I'll see something that I might use in a thumbnail, you know. But anyway, debuts out of the way. Um, I think I got a few more. Uh, no, I don't want to create a highlight reel right now. Then there's a few more Mike Goldberg tutorials that we gotta do. After a fight, you'll see the post. Come on, I know how this works. Yeah, I'll probably do like two more fights for this episode. 
Uh, who's the highest ranked? I guess this guy. Della Madalena Park? I think for this tutorial, he's going to make me do a uh, game plan. Now that you've scheduled oh, camp session. Flight, let's take a look at training with. Yep. Camp sessions to how you learn select moves. Camp you'd like to... Uh, I think AT and T. When you choose to train with a. I think AT T is like the best this is the move selection camp. Screen. Uh, screen. What do we have as far as submissions and stuff? <laughs> That's cool. Nice. Um, let me see. Butterfly car. Ooh, that could be nice. Like Togo Plata. Oh, I could do that from Butterfly? Ooh. I might have to do that. Hold on. That was from Rubber Guard. Yeah, that's from Rubber Guard too. Hmm. What do I want? Ooh, that might be nice. Oh, actually, I think I know what I want. I just have to remember what. Actually, I think I know what camp it is. Wait, elevation. Oh, I just noticed that they changed the uh, this top this camp's name to uh, Elevation Fight Team. That's the one that Justin Gaethje uh, fights at, right? Um, where is it? It's like a direct catch to a. Ah, I don't have enough submission rating, but that's the one that I was trying to get. Alright. Ah, uh, you know what, just... Oh, I love that move so much. Let me just get this, though. <sighs> it's gonna be a long episode just because of this tutorial bit. Yep, yep, yep. This one. Dose. Interest. Now we just gotta do it three times for a live opponent. Easy peasy. Ah, ah, come on. Let me have it. Let me have it. Come on. You suck. There it is. He was just delaying the inevitable. This is the camp session reason. Mike, 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 Mike. Come on. I started training the week after my 25th birthday. MMA just really gave me a way to focus and channel all of my energy. I have a great camp. I mean, I have very, very smart guys. That's the only thing that I enjoy about the people that I'm with, is they're intelligent people. Preparation is everything. And, and knowing that I did everything I should have done, I supposed to do, to win this fight. And believe in yourself. You know, at the end of the day, that's what it's going to come down to. You can have all the skill in the world and everybody behind you patting you on the back and giving you a way to encourage but if you don't believe it, it doesn't mean anything. Yep. 
Yep, yep, yep. What's my submission right now? 65? Yeah. Oh, this dude has poor defense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this guy out of here. No problem. This guy's screwed. If he can't stop my takedowns, he's screwed. Moment I lock in that submission, it's as good as mine. Isn't Brian Ortega gonna fight Yair Rodriguez again in real life? I don't remember when that fight's supposed to happen. I I mean I, I figured those two were gonna fight again. Because their first match did end kind of unceremoniously. Now Brian had that weird, was it his shoulder that kind of popped out randomly? Are you ready? When Yair went for that armbar. Anyway, yeah, I think that's the uh, next fight Brian has. I'm gonna try to catch him. Strike. Oh, there we go. Also, I think I'm gonna play without the HUD because honestly. I think it gives it a more realistic feel. You know? I'm not... Don't you dare stand this up. I'd see you around. Oh, it's as good as mine. There's no way you get out of this. There's no way. Nope, it's over. It's over. <laughs> Yeah, without the HUD, I think I'll be more inclined to go based off of the visual cues. Instead of having to, like, look at the meter, you know? I've been recording for a bit. Can I get submission of the night? I mean, it was a pretty quick finish, you know? like baby face Brian Ortega before he got his full beard. I let's see. Apparently I threw a punch, but I didn't even land it, so no, I don't want to create a swamp tiger. Hey, submission of the night. Heck yeah. Alright. Now I think Mike Volver is going to make me do a Game plan. Uh, what are you, rank 22? All right, Mr. Leclerc. Yeah, I guess I'll do this one. Just because he's ranked higher. See. Yep. For this next fight, let's take a moment to set. Yeah, yeah. Fights can be won or lost depending. Oh, submission grappling. Oh. Uh... Yeah, why not? Hey, yeah. That's essentially what I would do anyway. We got time for one more fight because I got I got places to be today. As much as I would love to play this game all day, can't do it. 
But, you know, if you guys, you guys want to subscribe to my channel, you know, if you want to get me to like a thousand subscribers or above, where I can start monetizing these videos, you know, to make this my daytime job. And I get even more videos out to you guys. Just saying. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Got one by submission. Got to do more transitions to my opponent. <sighs> Suck. Oh wait, does this count as oh if he blocks my transition, does that count as a reversal? I guess I'll find out. Yeah, no, come on. Give me your arm. Give me. Give it. In the window hey. above, you'll see the Nice. Oh yeah, yeah, I did it. Nice. Uh, I trained out of Boise, Idaho. Uh, I opened a gym when I first started fighting. I didn't have any, there's no gyms in Boise. So uh, me and one of my college teammates, we opened up a gym, combat fitness. I train six days a week usually. Every day is a good, well-rounded day. Every day is as hard as I can go. Like I tell all the guys out of my gym to make their first fight, first whether it's amateur or pro, stay focused on on, on three things: You'd rather have fun, stay calm, and be you. Do do what you do best. When guys get caught up, I think worrying about what their opponent's gonna do, you're gonna get a little gun shy. You start worrying about all those things, it'll shut you down quicker than anything. Worry about you, focus on what you do the best, and and, and what you need to do to win the fight. Can I just say, Scott Jorgensen had some of the coolest colored tattoos in the UFC. Anyway, actually, what's his submission defense and stuff? Oh, he's actually got more than me. Ugh. All right, well, that's going to make it a little more difficult, isn't it? All right. <clears throat> I will submit you like everyone else. Also, I, I've seen other people kind of give me their ideas of some of some content that I could put out there. You know, like a pride tournament between, uh, you know, the new versus the old, essentially. Um, if I can ever find a way to download the DLC onto this, then uh, I'll be able to use the DLC characters. Um, I'll be honest, like, the two characters that I really want the most, um, Alistair Wolverine and Rory McDonald. Ah, how dare you. Rory McDonald was pretty freaking good in this game. I think he was, like, an 89 overall, and he was really real well run. Pretty solid stats all around, to be honest. Oh, how dare you! How dare you deny my takedown, sir? Hey, no, no. Transition. I know you want to. I'll transition. All right, maybe I can get it. Maybe. Oh, if I don't mess up. Ah! It's gonna be close. Ah! Wait, does this count as getting reverse? I'm just gonna spam submissions against you, buddy. Something's bound to stick. That's how it's done. Yeah. 
Yeah, Alistair Overeem with just his ridiculous power, especially his knees in the clinch, and then Roy McDonald just because, honestly, he was like one of my favorite fighters. It's kind of a shame because he was supposed to be like the next GSP. You know, he was supposed to be GSP but better because he actually finished fights, at least early on in his career. Um, but, yeah. If I can ever find out how to properly download the DLC, then theory, I should be able to do it. I have a jailbroken PlayStation 3. That's how I'm playing this mod right now. You know? So... I don't know. Maybe I'll figure it out. Hey, submission of the night again. That's what I love. Alrighty. Yeah, I have been recording for a while. Mm-hmm. Great job. You've earned enough cred to upgrade the cap limit on your attributes or skills. Spending cred in this... Yep, yep, yep. Just give me my sparring partners. Yes. Thank you. Okay. I think that's a good stopping point. Um, I wish I could play longer, but I'm really going to be somewhere today. Thank you guys for, you know, continuously tuning in for this kind of content. I, it is my genuine pleasure to bring this out for you guys. Um, yeah. This is probably the next big series I'm going to do. Um, for big pay-per-view cards, I'll probably do, like, the event simulation like I did for UFC 298. Um, yeah, other than that, Hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share it to your friends, uh, notification bell, all that good jazz. I'll see you all in the next one. Okay.